Hi, it's Kaylee from Rhythm and Soul. Welcome to today's power flow practice. All you'll need today is a mat and yourself. Enjoy. Taking a comfortable standing position on the top of the mat, inhale, arms all the way to the sky, and exhale, forward fold, let the head release. Gently inhale as you roll one vertebrae at a time to come all the way up. Inhale, reaching all the way to the sky. And exhale, dive forward, soft bend in the knees as you gently roll yourself one vertebrae at a time all the way up. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, dive forward. And as you roll up, see if you can articulate each vertebrae throughout the back. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, interlace the fingers. Inhale, grow tall. And as you exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale to stay. And exhale to stay. Inhale to the top, growing tall. And as you exhale, side bend to the left. Find the length of the side body here, staying here for a full breath in and out. And inhale to the top. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, gather the hands, reach to the sky. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the back. And exhale, fold forward. Planting the hands, step back into high plank, stacking wrists under shoulders. Find the length here, stay for another breath. And as you exhale, bend the elbows, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, gentle cobra or upward facing dog. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Nice and even between the feet, maybe walking the feet out or shaking out the head. Finding that first strong dog of the day. As you inhale, reach the right leg up to the sky, bending into the knee and step forward between the palms. Inhale brings you up into that lunge and exhale to stay. Staying for another breath here. Inhale, open the back foot, pivot that left foot into 45 degrees and find warrior one. As you inhale, reach up and over and as you exhale, settle into warrior two. Finding the length here through warrior two, allowing the feet to be really stable and tracking that front knee towards the pinky toe. Bringing the right elbow to the right knee, windmill the left arm up and over, side angle pose. Find the length here from your fingertips to your feet. And if it feels okay for you, allow that our right arm to drop down to the floor. Nice and even through both feet, stay for your breath here. Allow that left armpit to circle up to the sky. Inhale, press back into warrior two, and as you exhale, reach the right arm up and over, Exalted warrior. Trying not to lock out that back knee. Inhale back to warrior two. And as you exhale, stretch the legs. Bring the back foot in slightly, coming in for triangle. Inhale, right arm reaches over. And as you exhale, windmill the left arm up. Find Utita Trikonasana, triangle pose here. Look between the hands and ensure that your palms are in one straight line. Allow the chest to be open and find length through the neck. Good. Now pressing evenly between both feet. Inhale and press your body all the way back up to standing. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach the right hand forward. Exhale, left hand to left hip. Stutter step your back foot forward and then take off into half moon, reaching your right arm down to a block or maybe the floor. Begin to kick that left heel back. Really think about a nice strong standing leg here. And you may look up or down, reaching that top arm to the sky, find the strength. Coming in and out of this anytime you fall. Inhale back to warrior two and exhale, pivot the feet parallel. Inhale to grow tall and exhale, wide-legged forward fold. 
Inhale, lengthen the spine, and as you exhale, release the head, and allow the hands to settle here, either on a block, your shins, or the floor. Soft bend in the knees here, if you wanna just release that low back a little more, really pressing through pinky edges of the feet. Bringing the hands to the waist, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale all the way to standing. Opening the arms, pivot the right foot open, warrior two. Windmill the arms, find lunge, and step back with the foot lowered down through chaturanga. Inhale, gentle cobra or upward facing dog, and exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it through both hands. Inhale, lift up, finding long lunge. Find the breath here. Opening the back foot, pivot that right foot to 45 degrees and bend into the elbows, goddess arms and warrior one legs. Find the breath. Inhale, arms open and exhale, settle warrior two. Opening that left foot to the front of the mat and keeping the right foot parallel to the short edge. Settling into the shoulders, taking a breath. As you inhale, bend into the left elbow and exhale, windmill the right arm up and over a side angle on the left. You could stay here if you wanna drop that left hand towards a block or the floor, feel free. Think about the length from the top of the right fingertips to the back of the right foot. Finding the breath here. As you inhale, press through the feet and come all the way up and as you exhale, Windmill that top arm up and over, exalted warrior. Finding the length here. Inhale, bringing the arms back to warrior two. Exhale, stretch the front leg. Bring the back foot in just a little bit and inhale, reach the left fingertips forward and as you exhale, windmill the arms, Uttita Trikonasana or triangle on the left. Again, the bottom arm might meet the shin, the mat, or a block. Taking the head wherever feels comfortable. Bringing the chest towards front of the room, reach the hand up towards the sky. Find the length of the arms. Pressing equally through the feet, inhale brings you all the way up. And as you exhale, settle back to warrior two. Inhale, right arm to right hip, and as you exhale, stutter step the back foot, reaching down towards the floor, finding half moon or Ardhashandrasana on the left. Kicking the right heel backwards in space, think about lengthening the full leg as it reaches in the balance. Reaching the arms away from each other in opposition, find a large wingspan. Find the breath. Holding that balance for one more breath. Inhale brings you all the way up. Exhale, pivot the feet back to wide-legged. Inhale reaches up towards the sky and as you exhale, fold forward, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, halfway lift, and exhale, fold forward. You might take another option here by hooking peace fingers around the big toes, bending into the elbows to send the body a little bit further down into your stretch. Taking a few breaths here, again, you might soften the knees a little more. Begin to press into the feet, hands to the waist, inhale, halfway lift, and as you exhale, all the way up to the sky. Opening the arms, find warrior two on the left, windmill the hands, stepping back into high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, gentle cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, find your downward facing dog, find the length here. 
Maybe moving side to side, taking another full breath in and out. Looking between the hands, bend the knees, jump, step, or walk forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, press through the feet, brings you all the way up. And exhale, release. Coming in for balances, hands to the waist. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, settle. Inhale, right knee to the sky, and exhale, open external rotation. Inhale, back to center, and exhale, release. Inhale, lift the right knee, exhale, open, and this time, placing the foot anywhere along the inside edge of the thigh, shin bone, or the floor, and finding tree pose on the right, taking any arm variation that feels good for you. Rooting down into the left foot, so really thinking about the pinky toe, big toe, and heel of the left foot, this tripod, and then pressing down into the ground as you reach the head upwards to the sky, find the length through the left side. Holding for one more breath. Inhale, come out the way you went in, and exhale, release. Inhale, left knee to the sky. Exhale, release. Inhale, left knee to the sky, and as you exhale, open external rotation. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release. Inhale, knee to the sky, and as you exhale, open. And this time, placing the left foot along the inner thigh of the right side, or the shin, calf. Finding the length here through right side. And taking a similar arm position to what you did on the opposite side. Settling the shoulders, find your breath. Taking one more breath here. Pressing through the foot, coming out the way we came in, allowing the left leg to release and back to the center. Bringing the feet hip width apart, reach the arms up as you inhale to the sky and as you exhale, bend the knees, sit back, chair pose. Now you might keep a flat back here or feel free to look up to the sky, lifting the chest. Whatever feels better for your back. Making sure that the knees here are straight over top of the ankles, so really working inner and outer thigh together to create this harmony throughout the upper leg. Finding one more big breath here. Inhale to reach, and as you exhale, forward fold, release the legs. Taking peace fingers and taking them around the big toes, inhale to halfway lift, find the length here. And as you exhale, bend the elbows and allow the head to drop. Now you could release the feet at any time and hands could go wherever it feels comfortable or stay here in Padangusthasana. Remember to take the tailbone skyward, so maybe the knees bend a little. Coming into a transition, inhale hands to the waist, and then exhale sit back into chair pose. Inhale brings you all the way up. Exhale samastitihi, bringing the feet together at the top of the mat. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or hop back, lowering down through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or gentle cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Plant the palms, look between the hands, cross the shins and come to seated. Moving now through seated postures, inhale, arms to the sky and as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold forward. You might take peace fingers around the big toes or maybe hands to the floor. Whatever feels good for your body. Powering up those legs but softening the shoulders. Bringing the navel in towards the spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward and gently roll yourself back up 
to seated. Tucking the right knee in, reach the right arm up as you inhale and as you exhale, right arm to the back. Inhale, left arm up, and exhale, left arm to the outside of the right knee. Find your twist. Really powering up that left leg, so press your foot towards me, and grounding that right foot into the floor. With each exhale, expand that twist. Allow the shoulders to soften just a little here. Find the breath, even in this ringing out. Inhale, gently bring yourself out of the twist to the front. And exhale, bring the inner part of the right foot to the inner thigh. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold forward. Your hands again might be here at the shin, on the mat, or maybe wrapped around the left foot. Finding the length here of the left leg you might notice sensation in the right hip or the low back. Really ground the floor with both hips. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale to come back to seated. Release the feet and bring the left foot in. Inhale, left arm to the sky, exhale, left hand to the back. Inhale, right arm to the sky, Exhale, right elbow to outside of left knee and begin to gently twist to the back. Again, powering up that right leg, so really pressing that foot towards the front of your mat. Find the twist here, this equal pressure between the right elbow and the left knee. Allow the head to go wherever feels comfortable in your twist. And find the breath here through the rib cage. Inhale to come back to the center and exhale, place the left foot on the inner thigh of the right. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold forward. Again, taking the hands wherever feels comfortable. Both hips grounding into the floor, feeling that sensation through hamstring, hip, low back. Inhale, halfway lift, and as you exhale, come all the way back to seated. Moving forward just a little bit here, bending into the knees, reach the arms forward. Inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, roll back just a little bit and begin to lift the legs here, boat pose. Moving through this position here, with each exhale, we're gonna touch the toe down towards the floor, and your hands might touch the mat or they might hover. Slight round in the back, and again, you might be in a seated position here, lifting one leg at a time. So choosing whatever option serves you at this point in your practice. Really engaging through abdominals, not hyperextending the back. Again, remember you've rolled slightly onto that tailbone. Finding the breath here, each exhale as you toe tap down squeezing those inner thighs. Lowering the legs, exhale to gently roll all the way down to your back. Find a comfortable position on the back. Inhale your right knee in towards the chest. Taking a standing position with the left leg, so left foot is flexed. And when you're ready, gently bringing the right knee across the body, you might open the right arm or look over the right shoulder Finding this deeper twist here. And maybe letting go of that ujjayi breath. So a little less focused on the breath and a little softer with the inhale and exhale. On your next exhale, bring the leg back to the center. Give it that one last little squeeze and change legs. Left knee in towards the chest, extend the right leg and flex the right foot. On your next breath out, gently bring the left leg across the body, finding the deep twist, maybe opening the left arm, looking over the left shoulder. Whatever feels good for you at this point in your practice.
taking a final breath, and nice and slowly bringing the left knee back to center, giving it that final squeeze, and releasing the legs down to the floor. Bending into the knees, take the right leg up to the sky, and then cross the right ankle to the left knee, figure four. A little deeper, you could lift the left leg, thread the needle. And keeping the right foot flexed here to protect the knee, you can let the left leg soften. Finding that deep hip opener. Gently bringing the feet back down to the floor. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left ankle to right knee. Again, you might stay here, or you could lift the right leg, thread the needle. Keeping the left foot flexed, you can relax the right foot. Finding the deep hip opener here. Find the breath. Nice and soft. Taking a final breath here. Gently lowering the legs down to the floor. Maybe hugging both knees in and rocking side to side or take peace fingers around big toes for happy baby. Taking any last little movements here before our final rest. And once that feels complete for you, Finding your version of Shavasana that might be with knees bent or maybe a pillow under the knees for the low back or just flat on the floor. Allowing the body to settle. We'll stay here for just a few moments, just focusing on the breath. Bringing your awareness back to your body now. Maybe wiggling the fingers and toes or taking a big stretch overhead. Rocking side to side, take your time. Bending into the knees, place both hands on the belly. You might stay here or rolling onto your right side and pressing up through your left palm, keeping the eyes soft or closed. Gently come to a seated position, wherever is comfortable for you. Taking a few moments just to wake the body back up. Bringing the hands to wherever is comfortable, whether that's on your knees or prayer position. And taking our final few breaths together. Taking an inhale and an exhale to clear the breath. Taking an inhale to the top. And exhale for yourself. Taking an inhale to the top and exhale for each other. And an inhale to the top and exhale for the world. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.